Dominic Sabaslai is officially a Liverpool player and I am buzzing. I am ecstatic. I feel so happy. And you might be wondering, Sado, why are you wearing shades? Well, it's because Liverpool's future is so dang bright. I'm wearing shades because Liverpool's future looks brighter than Bobby Firmino's smile. Liverpool's future makes Bobby Firmino's smile look like a black hole in comparison. We signed Dominic Sabaslai for 70 mil. There is a lot to discuss with him and he has a lot to offer. So let's get right into the video. I'm taking these shades off. So I'm gonna look at everything you need to know. It's officially been announced. They did the whole media release on it. For reference, I'm just gonna call him Sabo because saying Sabaslai and trying to say that all the time has really been hard for me in these videos. It's made the recording process a lot harder. So I'm calling him Sabo. So Sabo. He is in Liverpool's midfield now. He signed for Liverpool. He is gonna wear the number eight, which honestly, like, amazing. Excited to see what he does with it. I hope he makes it his own. And I think he's gonna be a really versatile fit for Liverpool. So let's look at the lineups immediately and look at potentially how Liverpool could line up for the game against Chelsea on the opening day. Give the video a like if you're happy that Dominic Salvaslai has signed for Liverpool and if you're excited for the fact that we have a new number eight. So comment below, what do you think of Liverpool signing Dominic Salvaslai and are you excited for this upcoming season? Subscribe for more Liverpool content, football news, and transfer content. The lineup against Chelsea, this is how I see it most likely panning out. Yes, Liverpool has a few players that they might sign still. The likes of Turam and Lavia are highly talked about and speculated as of right now as being the upcoming signings for Liverpool. I say signings because apparently we might be in for both of them, not just one, but both. And I built basically an 11 that I think is going to face Chelsea. Starting in goal, Allison, fairly obvious, straightforward. Then the back line, also straightforward. Rabo, Van Dijk, Konate, Trent. And then obviously the midfield is where it adjusts. And this is how I think it's going to line up. I think Fabinho will still start. I think we're going to start Alexis McAllister at left center mid, and then we're going to see Dominic Sabaslai play as right center mid, or Henderson start. Not sure on that, but depending on how fit and how much of a fit he is with the Liverpool squad, we might see Sabaslai start against Chelsea, but it is a big game, so I could see potentially Henderson starting over him. So you could have Sabaslai, Curtis Jones, Bajcetic all on the bench going into that game, a lot of depth to come off the bench as well. And then the forward line, I also think is fairly straightforward. I think it should be Diaz, Gakpo, Sala. Primarily because I think Nunez will do great, and I think he can make a lot of impact off the bench, you know, 60 minutes in for that game. But I think that Gakpo is just on such great form that he's got to start, especially through the middle. And Diaz is just so unpredictable, and I'm assuming he's going to be so fit and ready to go and just raring to go because he's coming off that injury and now he's going to have the preseason. So that's how I would line up for the starting game. I think it would be a sound lineup. I'm very well aware that Liverpool will more than likely sign at least one more midfielder. So if Turam or Lavia come in, do one of them start in place of, say, Sobaslai or McAllister or Fabinho? Potentially. I think that Klopp is going to assess the situation, see how well everyone's betting in, and with so many signings, you can't just go out and face Chelsea at Stamford Bridge with Thiago, Henderson, and Fabinho lining up and then just hope and pray that they can, you know, accomplish what they need to do in the first 60 minutes and then bring on McAllister and Sabasai and one of Turam or Lavia. I don't think that's how he plans to line up, and I don't think that would be wise either. So we'll see how it does line up. But I also have some midfield combinations of just players I'm not necessarily saying that all these midfield combinations will ever line up or that they would be very good lineups, but they are a variety. And once you see some of them, you'll notice that there's just a good balance at Liverpool's midfield right now with eight players currently in those midfield positions. Not everyone could play defense mid, obviously. Some of them are more like eight to tens that couldn't play as a six. So be aware of that. Immediately, Sabaslai by Cetic. Curtis Jones, Subbo, Henderson, Alexis McAllister, Subbo, Thiago, Alexis McAllister, Subbo, Fabinho, Thiago, Subbo, Fabinho, Cujo, Subbo, Fabinho, Alexis McAllister, Subbo, Fabinho, Henderson, Subbo, Fabinho, Bajcetic, Subbo, Bajcetic, Alexis McAllister, Subbo, Cujo, Henderson, Subbo, Bajcetic, Thiago. 
When I say Cujo, that's Curtis Jones. Just looking at these midfield combinations, it's already a much, much more enticing prospect than it was last season. Honestly, Curtis Jones' resurgence is definitely inspiring for Liverpool players and fans. It's inspiring to see Bajcetic, you know, as such a young player to play so well last season. Obviously, he had the injury, but you're hoping that he's going to bounce back and be in a position where he could play and really thrive. You know, there's not going to be as much load and strain on these players throughout the course of next season. Obviously, the Europa League is still very much going to be a competition that Liverpool are going to seek to win. It's the only one that Klopp hasn't won during his tenure at the club, so it would be a nice touch. Ultimately, I think with Dominic Sabasai, you have a player that is so profoundly complete, so good at contributing the goals. I calculated, I believe he's got an average of a goal contribution every other game while at Leipzig this past season. He does so well off the ball. He's tall, six foot one, so he's going to be imposing. He has a good physicality. He's got a good work rate. He's really good at pressing. And if you're a Liverpool fan, you just hear this, and this is music to your ears because Dominic Sabaslai is officially a Liverpool player, and he seems like one of the best types of players you could get on the market right now to fit a Jurgen Klopp system. At 8 slash 10, who's got really good work rate, can defend, who's tall, he has very good dribbling capabilities, he's got a great shot on him, scored a lot of long shots. He seems like a guy that can add some good progressive passing to Liverpool. He can provide Liverpool with a good amount of verticality going forward. And then that right-hand side, if he's playing there, you have Subasai, Salah, Trent, all of them interchanging. A triangle of those three is absolutely devastating down the right, in my opinion. Also, one last thing. Subasai could play on the right. So Subasai is a player who could play on both wings, and he provides a great amount going forward in the sense that he is so versatile alongside that front four and in midfield that you could basically play him anywhere and he's going to provide you so much offensive firepower, so much work rate, and just be a really great cog in the Liverpool system. I think many Liverpool fans are just kind of, kind of shocked. I posted that video a couple days ago, maybe a day and a half ago, two now, and that video was recorded the day before the confirmation of the release clause, but immediately the next day, Liverpool go out and basically spend a ton of money for him, and I think it's well worth it. I think he's a player that has a lot of good upsides. I think he's got a lot of strengths. I think his ceiling is really high, and I think that if Liverpool has a lineup that has one more midfielder who provides a good amount of physicality, I honestly want somebody that's more of a DM. We'll see how Klopp decides to do it because obviously Turam isn't a DM, Lavia is. But bringing in both of them, if that is at all possible, <laughs> wow, I don't know what to say. That would just be absolutely stratospheric and out of this world. It would be wonderful to see as a Liverpool fan. But yeah, that's what I have to talk to you guys about today. Dominic Subasly, new signing for Liverpool. Wonderful signing, in my opinion. So comment below, what do you think of all this? What do you think of Dominic Subasly signing? Do you think Liverpool has a chance of making Champions League football next season? What about contending for the league? Is that out of the picture? Or do Liverpool need to sign a few more players and wait a couple seasons for that to happen? Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more football news and transfer content. A lot of Liverpool content as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sideline Sato. Peace.